Hi, this is Dr. Jessica. This week, I wanted to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine. A lot of grandparents have been receiving their vaccinations and people are asking me, Dr. Jessica, what do I think about grandparents now spending time with their grandchildren? Is it safe? So I wanted to review the data that we have now, hopefully to make you feel more comfortable with whatever your family decides to do. So the first point of data I wanted to discuss is the overall case number in the United States. At the peak of COVID-19 in January 2021, the United States was seeing about 300,000 cases a day. And this week in early March, we're down to 60,000 cases a day. So this is great news, especially I'll tell you as a pediatrician, I am typically used to seeing respiratory viruses skyrocket during the months of February and March. So I think it's especially reassuring and good news that we're seeing such a downward trend since January. Now, for those who have gotten the vaccine, it looks like the vaccine has been very effective at preventing serious illness and death. So in the United States, we now have three approved vaccinations by emergency use authorization, the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, and the Johnson Johnson vaccine. They all appear in studies to look uh, very effective. Now, the New England Journal recently published data from Israel looking at a real-world example of mass vaccination where there were two groups of nearly 600,000 people where one group got the vaccine and we got to compare the two groups. And the group that got the vaccine did really well. There was a 92% effectiveness at preventing serious illness in the group that got the vaccination. So this is great news that the vaccine is actually working well at preventing serious illness and death. And then the question is, do children need to be vaccinated before seeing their grandparents? We know that the kids are not yet approved for the COVID-19 vaccine, but luckily kids are faring very well with COVID-19. To put it in perspective, eight out of 100,000 kids in the United States require hospitalization for COVID-19. So the hospitalization rates for kids are actually quite low. Also, if you're under 21 years old, that makes up 26% of the entire United States population but that group only comprises 0.08% of all deaths in the United States. So kids are bearing very well, recovering very easily. Now, I wanted to discuss the concept of risk reduction or learning to live life with a little bit of risk. So my analogy is when I drive a car, I know that driving a car comes with a little bit of risk. There's always a chance that I could get into a car accident. But what I do is I try to minimize that risk. I drive within the speed limit, I don't text and drive, and I wear my seatbelt every time. So similarly, I think we can draw an analogy to vaccinated grandparents with their grandchildren. Vaccinated grandparents have a much lower risk of getting severe COVID-19 disease, and children have a very low risk of getting severe COVID-19 disease. Realistically speaking, we will likely not get the COVID-19 cases down to zero. So at some point, there will be a number that we will feel comfortable living with. Just as we're comfortable with living during the cold and flu virus season, hopefully now that we have an effective vaccine, there will be a point in time in the near future that we feel comfortable living with the COVID-19 virus. The other consideration is that mental health is a big part of our health in general. So when grandparents spend time with grandchildren and vice versa, I think that really adds to the quality of life. I think companionship is so important, it adds value, and I think it actually extends our life. So there are two big questions that still linger in my mind. One is the length of time. So the studies have shown that the vaccines are really effective at preventing moderate disease and severe disease, but we don't know how long that holds true for. So that is a question that will be answered over time. And the other question that lingers in my mind is the variance. So right now, the vaccines are effective against the variants, but that is also a question that time will tell. But in the meantime, if you've been vaccinated and you're a grandparent, I strongly encourage you to think about giving your grandchild a hug. This is Dr. Jessica. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. There'll be a new episode coming out every Monday. Mm -hmm.